Hello, Tom Nation. It's your boy, Tom, and today we're going to be talking uh, about uh, Windows Spy for auto hotkeys. Doesn't matter if it's version 1, version 2, you're going to get the same information. Um, I did a video recently on about Windows Spy, so check that out, especially if you're here wondering, is it a virus? Is it malware? I'm just going to simply say in this video, no, it's not. Watch the first video where I explain that a little bit better. Um, but this one is basically a user of auto hotkeys uh, basically did an extended version of Windows Spy with a few other features added and just, uh, I guess we'll call them like uh, ease of use. Um, so I'll have this link in the description below. You jump here and it's by AutoCart. Um, talked to him recently. I forget how he reached out to me. I forget if it was on my Discord channel or through email. Um, but either way... He was showing me this. It was really cool. I like it a lot. Um, basically, simply, you can do it right here. Just copy, paste. You can push the download key. Um, you can push select all, then copy. And then we're just going to throw it into Notepad, which I've already done right here. Or whatever uh, you're using. I'm using Notepad++, but you can also do VS Code. And simply, just copy, paste, push save, and it's good to go. Um, before we do uh, jump into it, though, I want to point out if you do want to change the hotkeys that are coded into this by default, all you got to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, and they're right here. So this is also a good way just to see what the hotkeys are if you forget, um, but you can change them to whatever you want. You know, escape, for example, will actually close uh, the GUI out, but if you want, you could change that to like F1 right here or whatever. So that's just simple. It's just at the bottom. You're good to go. You do need Auto Hockey version 2 installed on your computer. I believe there is a GitHub for this, but I, for some reason, did not save it. So hopefully I'll have that to you in the comments uh, as a pinned comment soon. And hey, if you're the creator watching this, let me know and I'll pin it up there for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to actually launch the uh, default one just so we can do a little bit of comparison here um, so you're basically just going to go to your c drive or wherever you installed uh, auto hotkeys for most common people that didn't do anything it's just going to be c program files auto hotkeys and it's right here windows spy if you like the newer version a lot better you can always just drag this delete it into your uh, recycling bin and replace it with the new version um, but we're going to keep both uh, so we can compare. So this is right here on the right side of my screen is going to be the default. And then right here is the one that I downloaded just now, the extended. So right away we can always see there's a bit of a difference here just in size comparison. Which might seem a little weird at first, but it makes it more readable uh, basically is what it is. So over here for example, uh, my best thing that I like here is where it says all text. This has been divided into two sections of visible text and hidden text. So for example, if I wanted to look at whatever the hidden text was that I'm trying to find, this little tiny um, edit box here, I would have to scroll, scroll some more, keep on scrolling, and up oh, there it is right there. And it's a small tiny box. This makes it very readable pretty much instantly without having to scroll. Even this, you don't have to scroll very much to get all the other information. So that's nice by default. Uh, slow uh, title match mode is different over here for the most part. It just has an explanation, um, so you can read that um, to get it working how you want, which is great, I love it. Status bar text pretty much has not changed. Same with the active window position, that's same. Um, pretty much everything else is the same. Um, you got focus control here. Once again, it has an explanation um, about accuracy and whatnot there. Um, up here, mouse position, that's uh, pretty much exactly the same. And then up here at the top, the main window title class, all that kind of stuff is uh, pretty much the same too. Um, the last big difference really is here at the top um, by default, when you launch this one, which is the default, follow mouse is automatically checked. Um, on this one, follow mouse is automatically unchecked when you first start it. And you can also make the hotkeys global. Um, that just means that you can use them while you're looking at other stuff. 
um, versus always working. This is a good way for like debugging, um, really is when I would uncheck that. Um, but for the most part, I would leave that checked uh, for most users. Uh, follow mouse is great because we can do something like, uh, let me jump back over here. Let me move a cat. And um, so uh, follow mouse, for example, if I'm moving my mouse right now, it's not doing anything. You can see right here, it's not updating anything. Unless I actually click onto that window, now it's updating. If I go back, even though I'm not hovering over this window, I'm over here, it's not. See, this one's doing that. But that's because if I check follow mouse, now even though I haven't clicked on the browser yet, it's still getting that data for me. So that's just kind of a nice convenient thing, because honestly, I probably wouldn't really be using um, follow mouse because I'm just going to be in that window when I'm trying to get what I want. You can then hold control or shift, which is explained down here, exact same thing as over here. And that's just to hold it so you can get back over top of the window, let go, and now you're good. Because the problem with, say I want, um, I want the screen coordinates here, 333. Three, three. If I start moving my mouse back to this window, look, I just lost it. But I can put it here, 324, hold control, or hold shift, and I can move my mouse back over here. Now that it's over the window, I can let go. Um, so stuff like that we can do. <coughs> um, pretty much that's the biggest differences right there. Uh, there's a few other minor uh, things that you can read about a little bit more in detail to here. Uh, at the time of filming this video, it looks like the newest version uh, from AutoCart was released on March 1st. It is now May the 1st, so it's not even that old. Um, and I also noticed that if you scroll down, um, this user right here, uh, Xavier, uh, made basically a slightly different version um, that's basically got uh, night mode, um, dark mode included, which is really cool. Um, and then I think maybe added a few other things. You know, position section has no spaces or characters, so made a few other adjustments. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mostly like this version for the dark mode because um, I like a lot of that stuff as you can see with my notepad. Uh, I keep a lot of that stuff in dark mode. So it's kind of nice to have that kind of go with the theme of everything else I have. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, hopefully I can find the git uh, for this because I'm pretty sure it was uh, there with uh, better up-to-date information, easier to download. Uh, versus navigating here and trying to find what the newest version so i will put that in the description below for you all and if you guys find any other versions out there or modify this one to make it uh slightly better for your use definitely let me know in the comments below what you changed and maybe uh, a link to wherever you posted it so other people can try out your versions too all right so see you on the next one bye